Well, we're still looking for the, the group that's going to be on the field on opening day. You know, you've got guys who've had game experience who were starters in the past. Uh, you know, Joe Johnson uh, saw, you know, a significant time in the, the end of last season. Uh, Tevin Brandon is eligible to participate for us this year after transferring in from Connecticut, and he's done some good things out there in the safety position. Uh, Pat Gray, uh, uh, Andrew Sutton, and uh, Clark Cole are all guys who've been on the field for us. But there's a good level of competition out there at both the safety and corner spot and you know it's, it's going to be interesting to see what that starting four unit will look like. Well, yeah, I, I think that, you know, I'm looking at what, the way Clark Coe's running around. He's doing a good job. Jamison Zacharias has shown that, you know, he's healthy now, and he's, he's another one that's out there competing with that first group and, and, and doing a pretty good job as well. And then some of the younger kids like Jameer Buncher, you're starting to see signs of some really good play. Uh, so, you know, it's good to see the progress that they're making. It's good to see them all moving forward. And Yeah, but we're not done yet. We still have a ways to go in my mind. Uh, so far through the first nine practices, the D-backs have really progressed. You know, from day one to day nine, they've demonstrated that you know, they have a great understanding for our defense and they have a pretty good understanding of the techniques and fundamentals they need to uh, utilize to be successful in the defensive secondary here at Monmouth. Well, for, for the most part, you know, those experienced guys, Andrew Sutton, Pat Grass Safety, as well as Clark Coe, you know, there are three guys that played a ton for us last year. So coming in the spring, you know, they're the guys that we expected to lean on for leadership in, in terms of showing the younger guys how to work from an effort standpoint. So they, they've done a good job at doing that. You know, Andrew Sutton's been banged up a little bit. He started off a little slow with spring ball, but he picked it up, had a few great plays the last few practices, but he was actually injured today during the scrimmage. So he didn't get a chance to play. Pat Gray, on the other hand, you know, he started off fast, then tapered down, you know, practice four and five and you know, that was more so to do with uh, uh, him being uh, hindered by a hamstring but they've been doing a lot for our secondary in terms of you know leading the young guys on and showing them how to work. Uh, the guy that comes to mind that's been doing well so far this spring as a young guy is Joe Johnson. You know, he, he played uh, a lot for us, actually started the last three games of the season, uh, this past season. But, you know, when he was out there, he, he was still playing as a freshman, didn't quite understand, you know, how to play, you know, with the proper techniques and fundamentals to be successful. But this spring, he, he is, you know, he's been coming along well. He's actually uh, made it a goal to become a technician and become a better player using the right techniques and fundamentals. Middle. So Joe Johnson has made a lot of strides this spring. At safety, the young guy that, that, that has pretty, pretty much stepped up is Charles Edwards. He'll be, he was actually a sophomore last season, will be a junior, but hadn't played much his first two years at Monmouth. But this past spring, he's probably the most improved defensive back. You know, he, he, he understands our defense well, and aside from that, he, he's made a few plays throughout spring to kind of help himself move up the depth chart.